crypto in five minutes. How much value can I give you in five minutes? Okay, remember, uh, if you like what you're going to see, uh, grab the mini series below, book a call to check in. I'm going to show you why HVF method is awesome. This is Bitcoin. We're looking at Bitcoin and we've been in an upside, uh, right? Well, a rising wedge structure over here on the left on my right and your right as well. <clears throat> Let's get that pin. I'm talking about this area there. Uh, and that means you're squeezing up higher, but the eventual result, as I always highlight, is exhaustion typically. There are unique sets of circumstances when you're in a different structure where in actual fact you can actually run out the top. But these are exceptional and they're not in application now. Find out what and when those cases occur, book a program. But I want to show you that you'll see there's four pink numbers on there. Um, pretty in transgender pink, four pink numbers. And what I'm highlighting is the candle under each one, that one, the one, one, two after, then that one, and then uh, this one clearly. And then I'll come to number five, which was right there uh, on the dot. Uh, now, only HVF method, only those that are involved with HVF method had any significance uh, or any even had this line drawn on their chart and it was a key one for us i've taken all my uh, trading view lines off and i'm doing an overlay draw but in essence this is the key level we continued to assert we wanted to see ideally be run and that it would be a key level and no it's not quite 10 and a half it's just under on bitfinex it's 10 4 8 8 and just about every one of these occasions is 10488 or 10487. In fact, this was the spike that almost would have stopped you out of our original downside call that would have uh, that got you out down here at the uh, 6 8 level on the capitulation. So, this is really important structure in an HVF man's world and it's largely not on anybody else's line. It does come just under the 10 and a half line, which is psychological, but remember key round numbers are typically run and for most people everybody would be fascinating on the more obvious uh, key round numbers um, that I would suggest to you would be say the 10,000 mark. So, if I draw that line on over there. Um, but in actual fact, this was the one. So when we said we really wanted to see something just at least be run, that we were talking at that I'd like to see 10 and a half, because for me that meant the $10,488 on Bitfinex was uh, closed and run. And as I've already mentioned, the first four times it came. Amazingly, this final little uh, run over here, that little spike high, did three dollars yes three dollars over the 488 so 10 488 was the key level of significance starting at number one which wasn't beaten but was close to match by all these occasions uh, and we did three dollars on it in other words you got a high of 10 four nine one and that was our hope that you would at least stretch over this line in this upside rally we said there is possibility for it to go higher but what we most wanted to see is at minimum there and ten and a half was regularly mentioned as a key level by us for that to occur now what's happened is you popped out of your top of your rising wedge and you've now uh, just run it and I will show you how just that was because we'll drop down now on a lower time frame but this is the chart I wanted to uh, start off with and I wanted to show you that pink line and say to you how many of you had that line drawn on your chart as a pivot of a line it's less obvious but if you know HVF method and you value it, uh, as we do in our area, you would have had it. So here's what may have just happened, guys, that many of you need to understand. By the way, if I just take the orange box here, this is your single biggest bear candle now since the bull market started, which we are calling as the break roughly here of this inverted head and shoulders. Uh, structure from here. So of all the red candles that you've had, this is the most impulsive. It's not super impulsive, but this has been a squeezing up climb. That means it's not overly dominant. It means that the underside is coming up faster than the top side is allowing it. That's why you get the squeeze. And that means there is continual tactical retreat from those selling into the strength, but it isn't going away, and that the bulls are battling to have it all their own way, which points to potential exhaustion, and now you have this outlier line. 
Could this be, in our macro example, the RH3? The RH3, it could potentially be. It's been such a pivotal point for us, just generally. It's possible it could be the RH3. So what does this mean? It means that you guys have got to be careful that have all gone overweight alts. Because, as you will see, when Bitcoin slows down, as I keep saying, the Bitcoin is still the god market uh, at being deep in the 60s percent uh, over. Only Ethereum has not fallen as far. Let me refresh this coin market cap and see how the numbers change. But Bitcoin is down 3.18% and now Ethereum is also lower. Now the sole coin that was holding is also lower. And inside that XRP that I continue to say will broadly underperform despite it having a little flurry recently, one of the last to have any form of flurry. Um, cash is both the cash is Bitcoin um, is forks both the Bitcoin forks, 10.5 and 13.6 for SV, for all the SV fans. It's sure as hell, if it's Bitcoin, it's sure as hell is reacting a whole bunch um, to Bitcoin Core, if that's what Bitcoin um, is, BTC is. Um, Bitcoin SV sure wets the bed um, when uh, Bitcoin uh, has a nap. Uh, down here, 13% for EOS, 8% for Binance, 8%, 9%. A lot of people that suddenly went overweight alts into the rising wedge of Bitcoin, which is what I was warning that that's an exhaustion pattern. You could, you could go long the alts at the top and then you'll have high beta sell off. So I've already overshot um, my five minute mark. Wanted to give you some quick value. If that turns out to be a top, which it could well be, Remember, it's the biggest sell-off. We could wind up and set up to go a little higher, but it might need to go sideways and it would need to create an upside HVF. But there's plenty of scope also for it to form head and shoulders uh, structures. So if I just recycle that, you can see the scope for the head and shoulder there, uh, in there and over like that, impulsive down. That means you might get a chance to get out a little higher on a right shoulder. There's a neckline. Um, but that, that was on the short time frame, the 10, 4, 80, that single candle unbelievably did just the job and it was a shooting star week. Look at that high, 10, four nine one i'm pointing to that uh numbers in the top left there to just enough what a respect and what a just run and an invalidation and exhausting at that point wouldn't it be ironic if that turns out to be a relative high three if we go into a mild bear now remember we squeezed up not too dramatically uh as a mini uh, or micro bull market uh our second echo bull after the the, the high volatility super cycle bull you could then uh, end up in a mild downtrend. And now all the guys overweight alts are all going to have the higher beta of the losses and they're going to eat red again if this is the case. If it isn't the case and we wind up, then as I say, that's all hunky-dory. I'm not sure you want to play defense generally. And that means you might sit out the rest of the move. But this is uh, the fact that it was a rising wedge tells me it wasn't overly dominant. Uh, bullish. It's that slow, low volatility bullishness. Uh, and I'll be playing um, defense during this period. That said, it shouldn't be the longest easing market. I don't want to say bear market. I don't think it's you would consider it a cyclical bear market because you've had a moderate up mini bull. You're going to have a, a calming and, a, a, and an easing, I would prefer to say. Okay, we've got the eight and a half. I can't even keep it under five. That's all you're getting. The rest is in the premium area. Come and book a call to find out why you get the key levels um, with HVF Method. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Uh, love you. Love you. Love you. Bye for now. Book your calls. Cheers.